The Washington Post reports that Trump continues to accuse the migrants at the border of trying to come into America and poison our blood. As I pointed out earlier, poison our blood is a phrase straight from Hitler's Mein Kampf, where Hitler warned that non-Germans were destroying all that was good, noble, and creative about the German people. Trump, who faces four criminal trials next year, said he will be the law and order president, the anti-crime president, and he promises to give more power to local police officers, as well as qualified immunity from prosecution when they rough up or kill someone in the line of duty. On Meet the Press, Senator Lindsey Graham was asked on Sunday about Trump pinching lines from Adolf Hitler word for word about immigrants poisoning the blood of our nation. Well, Lindsey Graham at first tried to focus on that imaginary crisis at the border, but three times he was asked about Trump using Hitler's language, and finally Lindsey Graham said, quote, you know, we're talking about language. I could care less what language people use as long as we get it right. It's just language, right? So are the Nuremberg Codes, Lindsay, just language. Here's some interesting language. Confirmed bachelor, Lindsey Graham. It's just language. Paragraph 175 of the German Criminal Code. It predated Hitler. Paragraph 175, Lindsay, was passed in 1875. And you might find this interesting, confirmed bachelor Lindsey Graham. Paragraph 175 outlawed homosexuality. Just language, just words. But Hitler used paragraph 175, Lindsey Graham. He saw the law that was on the books and he rounded up the homosexuals. Not all the homosexuals, he couldn't. His party, just like the Republicans, was lousy with homosexuals. So he rounded up the homosexuals under paragraph 175, who he deemed a threat, an enemy of the state. And these homosexuals, Lindsey Graham, under paragraph 175, they were sent off to concentration camps along with all the other people poisoning Germany's blood. Yeah, the homosexuals were mental defects, according to Hitler, and they were poisoning the German people's blood, and they needed to go to the concentration camps. That's what Trump is talking about, Lindsay. Mental defects. Have you heard his speeches? He's calling the migrants mental defects. But they're just words, right? Confirmed bachelor, Lindsey Graham. Paragraph 175. Just words, just words passed into law in 1875, sitting around waiting 50 some odd years for someone like Adolf Hitler to come around and make those words sing. Interesting, right? Confirmed bachelor, Lindsey Graham, who's never, just never found the right woman. Here's another interesting tidbit, Lindsey Graham, about paragraph 175. When Antifa liberated the concentration camps during World War II, everyone was released. Just as soon as they were strong enough and had a place to go, everyone got to leave those concentration camps in Germany, Poland, around Eastern Europe. Antifa let everybody out. The Jews, the gypsies, the communists, the Catholics, they were all free to go. They they got to trade their prison garb for civvies. Everyone, except for the homosexuals, Lindsay. Paragraph 175, outlawing homosexuality, stayed on the books until 1994 in Germany. It's interesting, the rights we take for granted and assume once they've been given to us, those rights, well, we just assume they can never, ever be taken away from us. Interesting. Homosexuality has been legal in Germany since 1994. When was Lawrence v. Texas? I think it was later. Was it later than 1994? When did we legalize same-sex marriage? Ten years ago? Uh, we take it for granted. 
We took abortion for granted. We assume we don't need constant vigilance. We have these rights. They're inalienable. Nobody's taking them away from us. So, because of paragraph 175, there were German men placed in concentration camps during Hitler's reign. They were placed in concentration camps for being gay or being, that was the reason they were rounded up. And then, after World War II, these men continued their sentences in German prisons. They were taken out of the concentration camps and moved into German prisons because paragraph 175 wasn't taken off the books until 1994. I believe the last homosexual arrested by the Nazis then sent to a concentration camp and then after Antifa liberated the concentration camp, he was then transferred to a prison. He was finally released in the late 1960s. There was actually somebody who was serving a Hitler-era sentence for homosexuality as late as the 1960s. Just language, Lindsay. Just words. Just words. Just language, Lindsey Graham. Confirmed bachelor. Confirmed bachelor. 